the process of drafting the declaration has been based on, a, on our knowledge that we gained from the day and a half from the mock cup. So it's basically us doing like the crash course and then doing the follow up. But that's why we were willing to ask for more time, or a, a, an expanded time frame for us to modify and then then perfect the language of the of the declaration. What are some of the um, issues that you guys uh, have included in the declaration? For the youths, we're basically asking for more inclusion, not only for the youths but also for the different. Um, other perspectives, indigenous persons, they also classify as inclusion. Different persons that have an effect or contribute to climate change. That's a, a lot of pressure to handle because I, I do not have to face only for the youth, but also for the specific needs of the indigenous persons. So you have to bear in mind the youths and then the indigenous youths, which can also be a different category with a lot of needs. Our biggest feathers in our cap is that we have a lot of young people as part of our negotiating team. So we have people like Mr. Idalme Grijalva from the Forest Department, Mr. Sumit Betancourt, uh, members from the National Climate Change Office who form part of our negotiating teams who are young people. And so we also wanted to build their capacities in the art and process of negotiation. You know that one of the things is that a single word or a single number can really affect the, the, the positioning, right? And that's a, uh, the debating skills and the negotiation skills is critical.